usually when you're dealing with demonic infestations, you're dealing with demons. But that's not always. Sometimes, yeah, there might be devils. I don't throw a specific type of ritual that might have been summoned there and positioned there like a power. But when you encounter demonic infestations, what you have to do is you have to cleanse the environment. Cleanse the environment. Close the portals. You know, rebuke the spirits, bind them. And cleanse the environment. There needs to be deep cleansing of it. If it's an object, you need to destroy the object. You can cleanse it, but you can also just destroy the object. There are stories where people receive necklaces, gifts, rings from people. And those rings, there's been different things that happen to it. It's not always demonic infestation. Sometimes it could be curses, charms, and stuff like that. But how you deal with it is by destroying the object. Or you can plead, always plead the blood of Jesus. Okay. The blood of Jesus. When you call upon the blood of Jesus, you're calling upon the mercy of God. Okay. The life of God to come in a place. That's a covering. The blood of Jesus is a covering, not just over you, but over objects that you can use. You can touch something, a necklace, a car, and you can say, I cover this by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. And if you have faith, you're actually covering it by his blood. You're invoking God's mercy upon it. 